This is Unit 3, Formative 1, Video 1 on Verbal Inequalities. Uh, so because we're going to be writing inequalities today, we need to remember what are the inequality symbols. Well, this one is less than. And if you put the line underneath it, that's less than or equal to. If we just flip the direction, we have our greater than or and greater than or equal to. Uh, so really try to think about what direction is it pointing towards. And what I mean by that is the arrow it looks like an arrow to me so like if you think of a number line this part is on the right side well since it's on the right side it's pointing right so that means that's the greater part okay and then on this side it's going left it's pointing left so it's the less than part Okay, so that might be a way to help think about which inequality symbol you use. So we're going to be writing some expressions here, just like we did in a previous unit. We're just translating it into words. Well, this just says negative 5, and we're going to say is less than. We don't want to just say negative 5 less than. Because if we say negative 5 less than, that would mean subtraction. So you have to put the word is in there. So negative 5 is less than x, we can say. We could say negative 5 is less than a variable x. Whatever you want for that. And then number 2 here, we're looking at it's y is less than, is less than, or equal to, The number four. Okay. Here we're going to write in symbols and graph for inequality on a number line. So 16 is less than or equal to P. So we're just going to take what it says here 16. And remember the symbol for is less than. And then, or equal to. So remember the or equal to part means you have to put a line underneath it and then our variable is P now when I'm graphing this I kind of want the variable on the on the left side so we're going to change this just a bit and flip it around so it's actually going to read P is greater than or equal to 16 notice how I also flipped the the inequality do you see how the opening is pointing or facing the P? Make sure it's like that. You do not want to keep the inequality symbol the same. you got to flip it around when you flip this around. So let's go ahead and graph here on a number line. All right, so we have, our number is 16. So I'm just going to put 0 here. I'm going to throw 16 somewhere out there. And the negative 16 is going to be back here a little bit. So we're going to um, think about what do we put on the number 16. Okay, so we use a circle. We use a circle when it's less than or greater than. We use an open or a closed circle or dot. Make this nice and dark in here. A dot when it's less than or equal to or greater than or equal to. Which that's the case here. We have the line underneath, so we're going to put a dot on 16. And that just means it's, it, it's part of the solution set. And then once we darken it in, we're going to shade. OK, 
okay? Because it's telling which direction I'm fa I'm going. Again, look at the arrow part, okay? The arrow part is going right, so you have to shade right. All right, three more than X is greater than 11. I'm just looking at that. Three more than, this is addition here. It doesn't say is more than. Three more than, so three plus X. And then is greater than, so that's greater than 11. Now we, we'll have to do some algebra sometimes. We've got to make sure we solve for X here. Okay, let's solve for X. We're going to subtract 3. So X is greater than 11 minus 3 is 8. On our number line, I'll just get our numbers put on here. 8, negative 8 here. So which, time, which kind of circle do we put on 8? Well, since it's not equal to, it just says is greater than, 8 is not part of the solution, so we put an open circle. And again, since it's greater than, it's pointing right, so we shade right. Given the graph, write the inequality. Then write an interval notation. Okay. So as we're looking at this, we see a dot above the negative 3. So, and it's, and it's going to the right. The shading part is, face, is going right. So we know we have to use the greater than symbol. Greater than or equal to symbol. Now, when, we, when we're writing these, you, again, you're going to want the variable on the left side here. So any number x that's in our solution set is going to be greater than or equal to negative 3. In interval notation, we're going to want to use uh, some symbols. We use parentheses for um, less than or greater than. We use brackets for less than or equal to greater than or equal to. We also use we also use parentheses for infinity. Okay, I'll explain that here in just a second. So here we're starting at negative 3. Well, negative 3 is part of the solution. So we have to give a, a bracket. Negative 3 is our beginning part. Now it's going all the way to the right. And it's going on to the right forever and ever. It won't ever stop. So that means it's going to infinity. Well, infinity is not an actual number that's concrete. So we can't actually envision that. So I like to use, so we have to use parentheses because we don't actually know what infinity looks like. Okay, second problem here. Notice the open circle on four and it's shading to the left. Again, look at the arrow part. It's pointing left, so we're going to use the less than symbol. And like we did here on the first one, we have to put the variable on the left and then put our number behind it. X is less than zero. Well, because, or sorry, not zero. Let me just fix that here. Should be less than four. Now, again, it's an open circle. So, and it's less than, so we have to use parentheses. Now, when we do our interval notation, we want to go left to right. So since it went left, what's my left most part? Well, it's starting at negative infinity. Okay, it's starting at negative infinity. And we use parentheses on that. It ends at four. You see that it stops at four if you're going left to right. Stops at four. And it's less than, so we use our parentheses there as well. Lastly here, define a variable and write an inequality to, to model the following situation. A child must be at most 10 years old to get a happy meal.
Okay, so my my uh, variable, I'm just going to use A for age, okay? So the child's age here. Now, at most, the words at most, that tells us what inequality symbol to use. At most means it can be that number, but it can't go above that number. So at most is the symbol less than or equal to. So the child's age is at most 10 years old, okay? So A is less than or equal to our number 10. Again, the age cannot be bigger than 10. So it has to be smaller than 10 or it can be 10, but it cannot be above it. All right, so there's your uh, video. You guys have a good day.